For Carol Miller, 4-H is more than just a club. The 18-year-old from Delaware County has built a wealth of experience working with farm animals in this mostly urbanized corner of Pennsylvania. She has spent countless hours before and after school working at the Delaware County 4-H farm. And for other youth in the county, as the number of farms dwindle, this 4-H facility is a vital link to agriculture. There's really nothing like it in this area. Like, I don't know how anyone else would get involved in agriculture if 4-H wasn't here. Delaware County, one of the most population dense in the state, is home to few remaining farms. But one that has stood since the 1700s continues to teach a new generation of children who want to know more about farming and careers in agriculture. Through an agreement with a local foundation, Delaware County 4-H is able to provide a space for children to keep animals and participate in club activities. It's an arrangement unique among Pennsylvania 4-H clubs, according to Devin Cunningham, a 4-H educator in Delaware County. We find what days work best for their families to do chores, and these kids are in here. They are shoveling manure, slinging hay, throwing grain to the animals, and are in charge basically from start to finish of their project, whether it's with our horses, with being residents here on the property, feeding and maintaining them, or our sheep club where the lambs are bred and born here on site. All of those members get the 2 a.m., 3 p.m., whatever time of the day it is that their assigned animal is, is going into labor and start lambing and they're responsible for being here, watching their lambs be born and helping with any type of care that's necessary. So we give them the whole 360 experience when it comes down to farming. Miller who wants to go to Penn State to study agriculture sciences, says she's had a full exposure to life on the farm through 4-H, even the work that occurs during the early morning hours. I think the latest I've been here was like, this past year was like 3.30 a.m. Uh, trying to keep a lamb alive. He was born and um, it was a pretty cold night. I think it was about 10 degrees out. And so right when they're born, obviously, you know, they're wet and they're small and skinny and um, he got hypothermia, so we were just trying to warm him up and keep him going. He's fine now, he's actually in the barn now. <laughs> Adriana McCarty enjoys taking the early shift for her work at the 4-H farm. At least one day a week, the 11-year-old arrives by five in the morning to work with her favorite horse, Flash, in the pre-dawn quiet. Um, well, it's pretty much pitch black out, but we like usually take the horses in, and it's really fun because you get to like feed them and you get to like pet them all the time, and it's just, very inter like you get to like have a real connection with them. 4-H clubs like the one in Delaware County faced uncertain times as it and other programs run through Penn State Cooperative Extension were caught in the middle of a prolonged budget fight in Harrisburg. While the stalemate is over and 4-H and Extension will continue running, Cunningham wants to make sure the public understands the valuable role that 4-H plays for kids. Cunningham found her passion in life as a youth participating with 4-H in Bucks County and she wants to make sure other kids and teens have the same opportunities now and in the future. This is something that now coming full circle, it, it changed my career path. I went to Delaware Valley College. I graduated with honors in livestock science and dairy science, and this is a passion. And coming to a place like this where agriculture is not represented gives me an opportunity to, to teach that fire and teach that passion to these youth that would never have a chance to see it. For Pennsylvania Farm Bureau, I'm Darren Euchre.